As you see, upcoming mixtape. Don't know when it's dropping, but 50 Cent with the Canaan tape. You know what I'm saying? This is his character. He plays on Power. You know, the last season that just, you know, went off air. It was supposed to believe that he is dead, but he ain't. So I'm wondering if this going to be some type of build-up for season three. You dig? But at the end of the day, we all know that 50 Cent at one point in time had classic projects when it came to the mixtape game. And honestly, before Wayne era of the mixtape game, he kind of originated the whole making original song over a beat. You know what I mean? Then Wayne just came and took off from that point on. But I think that 50 Cent uh, definitely probably have something with this one. You know, the um, cover itself looked pretty interest interesting. I think the War Angel, you know, that's definitely a classic mixtape. Um, what is the other fucking... I was just listening to that shit the other day. Um, hold on. Fuck that, because I got to find this shit, because I thought that was one of the dopest, you know, mixtapes. I've ever heard from Fifth, and niggas think that I'm not a 50 Cent fan, man, I've been listening to this nigga for a cool minute, way before Get Rich or Die Trying, you know what I'm saying, uh, Power the Dollar, I remember, um, my best friend, she was at, uh, a mall in, um, Bay Area, and she was like, yo, these niggas selling bootlegs, you dig, they got 50 Cent joint, you want it, and I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, get it, and it was the Power of the Dollar, incredible album, don't even understand why the fuck it didn't even, you know what I mean, Columbia, that shit is crazy, bro. But um, anyway, moving on. Yeah, so he definitely put in the work when it came to the mixtapes. What is that motherfucking um mixtape? Um, damn, it's the one where he got the skull, and um, he got a crown on it. I know the War Angel is one of them, and. Shit, what was the fucking name of the... Cannot remember what the fuck it is, man. The War Angel. That shit crazy. I don't know. I can't remember. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Leave it in the comment section. But yeah, man. That nigga definitely was just on some shit back in the day when it came to um the mixtapes. You feel me? And I don't know. I just feel like if he get back on his gritty shit, I definitely feel like, you know, he'll have one. You dig? Guess Who's Back is another one that was dope. Um, the Lost Tape was cool. The Big Ten was cool. Um, what's the name of this other motherfucker? It's right fucking there if this fucking phone stopped bugging out. You know. Forever King. There it goes. That, that's the joint right there. Forever King. The War Angel. Um, guess Who's Back. Definitely dope. The Lost Tape was cool. Uh, 50 Cent of the Future is another dope one. You know, it's just a lot of classic shit that he done dropped for as a mixtape game. But I'm still like, yo, where the fuck is Street King Immortal at? Motherfuckers are still waiting on that. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, 50 is another one that goes into that category that should retire. You know, I don't think he really has anything left really to prove. I don't really think that his form of music, even to this day, I'm not going to say it's irrelevant, but at the same time, it's just like, eh. You know what I mean? You had your wave, and it, it kind of died out. Um, some other picks, I would say, I think I'm going to leave that in a different video, but I definitely feel like after 50 does this tape, he does Street King Immortal, I feel like he should fall back. You know, if he's not going to take G-Unit Records and try to find new talent out there with a lot of different guys that I feel are in a newer generation, like do what Eminem did with Shady Records and he revamped it. I think that if he can um, revamp G-Unit Records and not make it about him, Buck, Banks, and, you know, Yayo, that era is already gone. It's entering a new era. If he can revamp it, you know... Um, you can even do what Murder, Inc. did instead of Murder, Inc. They just called it the Ink. You know, um, you can just call it the unit. You know what I'm saying? But because G Unit had his time, and that's a, that era's over with. You could start a new era and start really looking at some of these new cats that's coming up in the game. You know, signing them because I think that far as record labels, if you look at you know giving label deals, it's not really there anymore. But Fifty Fifty Ventures seem to be quite there. Thank God he got one and. 
I think Diddy got one. You know, you can see it is there. And if you got the right type of talent, not just this street rap shit, you got every type of variation of rap. I think the labels, the corporate, you know, as far as the uh, Epics, Columbia's, Atlantic, you know, um, you probably even could get a new Interscope deal if you have the right type of, you know, influence on your label. But I'm just looking at that as a CEO because it's just sad when you see somebody with this type of talent and then he has a roster, but yet at the same time, you're the biggest star on the roster. You dig? But who knows what he's going to do with this tape. I definitely don't feel like he needs to reach out and try new sounds. I'm not really with that shit. I feel like certain artists do that, and it takes away from their brand. It's like you need to give us the 50 cent that we grew as fans to love. You know what I'm saying? Not really all this new shit to where you go get a, a Fetty Wap over here or you get the hottest nigga that's here and there and there. If you want to surprise us... This is what I would want to see as a fan. If you really mature and you really grew up and you over this dumb shit, it would be big to get back with everybody that you kind of dissed and had a problem with. You know, Game, you know, Cameron, Nas, even Ja. Like, I don't give a fuck. I still want to see a Ja and 50 shit. I think that shit would be dope. You know, everybody. And it just that NY type shit, I think that he is the one that can do it. Jay is... Uh, you know how Jay is, but I think 50, I think that would be huge in the sense that nobody would ever see that coming, and they didn't expect it, and I think it would come out dope, because I think at one point in time, we all wanted to see, you know, Jada, 50, you know, Fat Joe, nah, like every, that big NY collapse, similar to how the Southern artists do, you feel me? And I think that if he was to do something like that before he retired, he would definitely change his legacy as far as, you know, rap and everything like that. No politics in it, no no bullshit, no paperwork involved. You know what I mean? You just get in there, y'all do the records, you know, and at the end of the day, you settle all that shit later. But this is a different market. I doubt we'll get that. But it's just something for me as a fan as far as music because I look at it like the next five years, I doubt I even be listening to music because a lot of the new shit I'm really not feeling. You know what I mean? It's a couple cats, but other than that, I just feel like, shit, the way the market is and the way they're doing shit now, I'm not really going to be listening to music like that no more, so it's time for me to venture off and other shit. But y'all let me know what y'all think about 50 upcoming tape. It ain't no date for it. It's no track list. They got the cover. Who knows? I think it'd be dope if he released it sometime next year. I don't think he has to release it this year. You know what I mean? I think it'd be good for prepping the um upcoming season of Power 3. Power Season 3, because I think he said it'd be dropping sometime next year. I think it'd be dope. You know what I mean? At least give it a three-month expansion. So if it, you know, January dropped the tape and, you know, middle of 2016, uh, Season 3 would drop, I think that'd be cool because you wouldn't want to drop it and then Season 3 never happened. Just say Stars canceled the show, even though we know he got some type of deal over there now. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it. That's just my take on it, on music, 50, and the whole G-Unit as a whole. All right, y'all. I'll holler at y'all. One.